Okay, so we're just gonna do multiplying whole numbers. So we just always make sure when we're teaching our kids that we have um, that we have them remember that whichever number has the most digits is what's gonna go on top. So this is gonna be 169 times 25, and it's set up with the right place value. We're gonna start with the ones. So nine times five is 45. We write down our five, we carry our four. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. We write down our 4, we put our 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. There's nothing else left. So I teach my kids to cross off their 5, add your 0 placeholder at that same time, and then go ahead and cross off what you carried with your 1's column because now you're going to be multiplying by the 10's. So we're at the 10, so whatever 2 times 9 is, Again, I teach my kiddos this answer, whatever this answer is, has to go underneath the tens because that's what we're multiplying by. So this is the tens place. So two times nine is 18. So that eight has to go under the two because that's what we just used. We also have a zero placeholder, which a lot of fourth and fifth graders forget to put. So I also teach my kids, make sure you put this answer underneath the tens. So that eight is gonna go underneath that two, whether you have a zero placeholder or not. So nine times two is 18, we wrote down our eight, we're gonna carry our one. Two times six is 12, plus one is 13, carry the one, and two times one is two, plus one is three. Then everything underneath is what we're adding together, so five plus zero is five, eight plus four is 12, carry the one, eight plus one is nine, plus three, we're still gonna teach the kids to look for tens. There's not a 10, but there's an 11, so eight plus three is 11, plus one is 12, carry the one and three plus one is four. And there's your answer.